Hello, this is Roland. I want to continue with my reading from Mark chapter 11. I'm reading from the Bible, the Gospel of Mark chapter 11. We've covered a lot of ground. It's a beautiful chapter. A lot of good stuff in it. We got to the part where Jesus was talking about how to pray. Jesus said to have faith in God. And then to pray without doubting not to have doubt in our heart. But then he said something very interesting and very important. I think it may be it may be the most important verse in the Bible. The most important. And I will read it to you and see if you agree or see if you can see why it's the most important. I'm going to read now from Mark chapter 11, verse 25. Jesus is talking about praying. He says, And when you stand praying, forgive if you have something against anyone, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses, But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. So it's actually two verses. Let me read it again. Don't miss it. It's very important. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. So this is the Messiah. He says, forgive. Because if you don't forgive, your heavenly Father won't forgive your trespasses. Forgive others or your heavenly Father. It says, it says forgive so that your heavenly, fa heavenly Father may forgive you. Okay, it's very important. So now I want to tell you why I think it's the most important chapter in the Bible. Most important for most people. It's the most important one. And that is because a lot of people don't forgive. They have grudges. They have baggage from the past, which means that there are people they resent. They resented their mom their dad for failing them, for not being there for them, their mom for being a nag or criticizing them or whatever she did, resent their brother, their sister, other people, other kids, bullies, people that had more than them, and go through life resenting, resenting their co-worker, resenting this person and that person, and then resenting, they resent their husband, their wife, their partner, then they resent their kids, they go through life resenting which is the same as harboring unforgiveness. And they go through life judging. See, a lot of us, a lot of people, secretly judge others. On the surface, people smile, but underneath they're judging. See, with a pinch of resentment. So it's basically hate. That's what resentment is. It's hate, a little bit of hate. That's what judgment is, a little bit of hate. And the whole mess that you see in the world, the mess that you see in the world, in the family, in society, in neighborhoods, everywhere, the mess, mess that you see is mainly caused by one person judging. Everybody's judging everybody else and hating everybody else. And then covering it all up and sitting, smiling, but underneath full of hate. And every so often it bursts out in violence. And See what I mean? Hurt feelings, divorces. See? Not good. Ann Landers, I'll never forget. I will never forget this as long as I live. And I put it in some of my books, in some of my articles, in some of my blog posts. After, after her long and illustrious career, Ann Landers was the great um, uh, newspaper columnist who answered questions. She was like, Dear Abby, Ann Landers. Um, they asked her, after all these years, of answering questions. She said, if you if you had one piece of advice for people, what would that one piece of advice be? 
and of course I was glued on the edge of my chair to see what Ann Landers would say. She said, if I, have one, if I had one piece of advice for people, I would tell them to be more forgiving. To be more forgiving. Okay? So now, let's consider this verse. A lot of people have issues, health issues, depression issues, anxiety issues, um, relationship issues, all kinds of issues. And underneath so many of those issues, there's a contributing factor or even the causal factor. Resentment. Okay? Resentment, which is unforgiveness. Now, do you see now why we our issues, why we become chronic with so many of our issues and we never fully recover? It's because we never give up our resentments, our judge, judgments of other people. Okay? And I, like I've always said, I've always said that what anyone does to you, is that resentment hurts you more than what anyone did to you. Okay, some people messed up. Some people, okay, I'll, I'll give you a few clues about how to forgive in just a moment. But I want to begin by reiterating what the Messiah said. If you don't forgive others, your heavenly Father will not forgive you. Your trespasses. It's that simple. Okay? So, it's very important to forgive. I'm going to give you a couple of clues that will help you to forgive. A lot of people don't know how to forgive. If you have an interest in forgiving, if your life is messed up because you're full of hate, full of anger, full of bitterness, full of resentment, full of hostility, there's something you can't forget. Somebody did something to you and you can't let go of it. Things like that. Okay? Then um, I'll give you some clues. But I, first I want to mention, I can't do it all in this little video. I have written, I have made videos on the subject. So you have to look for videos about how to forgive or how to forgive and forget or what does it mean to forgive. Look for some of my articles. Look for my books, especially like the Myths and Mysteries of Marriage. I'll talk about forgiveness in the Myths and Mysteries of Marriage, for example. Here's a couple of clues. First of all, a lot of us hated people. We hated our father. We hated our mother. Okay. We hated our brother. We hated somebody who did something to us or failed us. We hate them, okay? What I want to say to you is whatever they did to you or for their acts of commission or their acts of omission, okay? A lot of times, one of the reasons we hang on to our grudges is because we think they did it on purpose, okay? But the truth is that most of the time they didn't do it on purpose. They couldn't stop themselves. They couldn't help themselves. Or something was operating through them. The spirit of the violator. See, their, their father failed them, okay? And their mom hated her husband for having failed her and for not loving her properly. She took it out on the kids, okay? And it goes back from one generation to the next, all the way back to the original failing couple. Adam failed. Eve resent, undoubtedly, Eve undoubtedly resented him for failing. Okay? So, um, you see, they didn't do it on purpose. Something was acting through them, perhaps the spirit of the violator. They did to you what was done to them. They turned around and did to you what was done to them. So, someone did it to them. Okay? They weren't doing it on purpose. Okay? Now, there are some people who are, there are, there are some people who are wicked. Okay? They just are wicked. If so, maybe they did it on purpose. There are people that wicked. But if they did, forgive them anyway. Now, here's a see another secret to forgiving. Do you know what forgiveness means? It means let go of the resentment. Let go of the judgment. You don't have to pretend they were wonderful or nice. You don't have to pretend nothing happened. If they're still wrong and unrepentant, you can see that. See that they're wrong or see that they were wrong. Okay? So discern. You see that that's the difference between discerning and judging. It's okay to discern error. See that they're wrong. Just don't hate them for it. See? Don't resent them for it. Don't judge them for it. See the error, but don't hate the person. That's the secret. See what's operating through them. See? There may be a, 
there may be the spirit of the violator operating through them. And what it wants you to do, it wants you to hate them, to hate the person. It wants you to resent and hate the person. Because when you do, you're hating someone who is created in the image and likeness of God. Okay? That's, why it's just, that's why it's wrong to hate other people. Okay? It wants you to hate. So don't do what it wants you to do, which is to hate, to judge, to resent. Okay? Um, and that's what patience means. Patience means not resenting, not judging. See what I mean? That's what forgiveness means. Okay, does that help you? So you might have to watch this video again. Go get some of my books and look at some of my other videos and read my blog posts about forgiveness. But now you see how to forgive. Okay, you don't have an excuse anymore for not forgiving. Okay, because if you don't forgive others, your Heavenly Father won't forgive you. Many people have an issue with their father who failed them. Okay? But if you don't forgive your earthly father, okay, you won't find the love of your heavenly father. Forgive your earthly father. Forgive your poor old dad for what he did or what he failed to do. He wasn't there for you. Okay, he wasn't. Something was, see, the world was too much for him. When he was a little boy, they were cruel to him too. Nobody guided him and helped him and properly. He, he messed up, okay, and your mom was too much for him. And he became impatient and angry, and he failed, okay? So he failed. So see it clearly. Yes, he failed, but don't hate him. Let go of the resentment. Then you'll be able to move forward with your life. Not only will your heart then open to receive the Father's love, your Heavenly Father's love, okay? But then you won't have to do to your children what was done to you. The buck can stop with you. You won't have to pass the legacy of misery and suffering on to your children if you forgive your parents. Okay? And while you're at it, forgive your husband and your wife. Forgive your husbands. Forgive your wife. If your husband is like your dad, then forgive him. Okay? He may not be that bad underneath. See? He, 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 he may still find himself. If he doesn't, then don't resent him. You'll be okay. You can, you can find your Father's, Heavenly Father's love if you don't resent other people. Okay? My name is Roland. Thanks for listening, and uh, be sure to check out some of my books and my other videos about forgiveness. Very important.